पिया है तो लेसर बी मशीनिंग बी मशीनिंग एंड लेसर मेटीरियल प्रोसेसिंग डील्स विद द मशीनिंग एंड मेटीरियल प्रोसेसिंग लाइक हीट ट्रीटमेंट अलाइंग क्लेडिंग शीट मेटल बेंडिंग एट्सेट्रा सच प्रोसेसिंग इज कैरिड आउट यूटिलाइजिंग द एनर्जी ऑफ कोहरेंट ऑफ पोटॉन्स और लेसर बीम्स which is mostly converted into a thermal energy up to the interaction with the most of materials laser stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation under the working principle of laser was first put forward albert einstein in 1917 laser beam can very easily be focused using the optical lens up to a uh, half micron to around 70 micron that we see the concept of material removal the laser is focused on to the work on to the surface to be machined and the thermal energy of the laser is transferred to the surface heating and melting vaporization takes place and material is removed here the energy used is thermal energy is used to remove the material from metallic or non metallic surfaces let me see the lacing process lacing process describes the basic operation of laser in the model of atom negatively charged electron rotate around the positively charged nucleus in some specified path each of the orbital electrons is associated with unique energy level this is emission here the electron at the ground state can be excited to a higher state of energy by absorbing the energy from the external source like increase in electronic vibration at elevated temperature through a chemical reaction as well as via absorbing the energy of photons schematically absorb absorption of photon by an electron the electron moves towards the high level of higher energy to lower energy on reaching the higher energy level the electron reaches an unstable energy bond here and it comes back to the ground within the very small time the electron will move from the higher level energy to lower lower level energy at very small time this is called spontaneous emission that we see the difference between spontaneous and stimulated emission from these three figures we can clearly understand the difference first one is a stimulated absorption and this uh, e0 line indicates the lower level energy e1 indicates the higher level of energy here this is photon line this one is the electron lines the photons from the lower level energy is absorbed by the electrons at the higher level energy this is called stimulated absorption from the second figure the electrons at the higher level energy comes to the lower level energy this is spontaneous emission due to this photons absorbed by the electrons the electrons are emitted to the lower level energy this is called spontaneous emission here the electrons will say will stay there uh, milli or microsecond at metastable energy at higher level this is called population inversion then higher state of energy to lower state of energy the electrons from comes from the higher state e1 to e0 this is called stimulate to stimulate the photons this is called stimulated emissions let we see the laser construction laser housing flash tube and laser crystal these are the important parts to create the laser this figure shows the solid state laser because a neodymium yag laser is a solid state laser there's a construction of laser here two type of reflector is there one is totally reflector another one is a partially reflector and spontaneous emission the atoms are splitting and emit, emission takes place and laser sends out by the partially reflected mirror and then the laser is focused by the lens and machining is takes place let we see the type of laser many materials can be used as a heart of the laser depending upon the lacing medium lasers are classified as two types first one is a solid state laser 
rubic which is a chromium alumini alumina alloy having the wavelength of uh, 0.7 microns and neodymium aqueous having the wavelength of 1.64 micron and neodymium aqueous having wavelength of 1.06 microns these solid state lasers are generally used in materials processing so second type is gas laser helium neon laser argon laser carbon dioxide lasers L lasers can be operated in continuous mode or uh, pulsation mode Co generally the carbon dioxide lasers are operated in the continuous mode and neodymium aqueous lasers is used in pulse mode working principle of laser beam machining these are the important parts flash tube laser crystal reflective end partial reflective end focusing power supply here the laser is stimulated and this laser is passed through this lens and this lens focusing focuses the lasers at a very narrow point here the operation is takes place and material is removed let me see the application and type of lasers for large holes up to 1.5 mm we can go for the ruby neodymium glass or neodymium neodymium or uh, carbon dioxide lasers for drilling punching uh, operations we can go for the ruby neodymium glass lasers for example thick sheet cutting we can go for the carbon dioxide lasers thin slitting we can go for neodymium and for the plastic we can go for the carbon dioxide metals we can go for neodymium or ruby neodymium glass these are the laser characters let me see the applications laser can be used for wide range of manufacturing application for material removing drilling and repinning welding cladding alloying and drilling of micro sized holes and drilling of laser is focused over the desired spot size in laser machining there is no type uh, physical tool a large aspect ratio in drilling can be achieved along with the acceptable accuracy or dimensions micro hole holes can be drilled though laser processing is a thermal processing heat affected zone especially in pulse laser processing is not very significant due to the shorter pulse duration let us see the limitations high initial cost maintenance cost it is not very e efficient process heat affected zones cannot be used here thermal process not suitable for heat sensitive material let we go for the question and answer so, mechanism of material removal in laser beam machining is due to mechanical erosion due to impact of high energy of photons ele electrochemical etching melting and vaporization due to thermal effect of impinge of high energy of laser fatigue failure let me see the answer answer is c melting and vaporization due to thermal effect of impinge of high energy laser beam this is the way of uh, removing the material in laser beam question 2 laser beam is produced due to spontaneous emission stimulated emission followed by spontaneous emission spontaneous emission followed by spontaneous absorption spontaneous absorption leading to population inversion and followed by stimulated emission answer is d spontaneous absorption leading to the population inversion and followed by stimulated emission due to the population inversion the electrons are emitted from the higher level of energy to the lower lower level of energy this way the laser is produced subscribe and share with your friends thank you